Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we are back in the 140 year old uh, bird farmhouse and we're going to be doing some work in this area today. Uh, we're outside today, it's raining and just absolutely a muddy mess and I've been wanting to take care of this area for a while now. So we've got plenty of light and uh, we're going to get in here, clean this out and try to start gutting this uh, so we can put in new floor. Had to show you my lighting source real quick because it's really well you know it's the old bird farmhouse as you've never seen it before with bright lights like this these lights i got from my friend ben and uh, they are bright they are bright these are also the ones that put off about you know they double as a heater they put off about 60 degrees no no that's that's about 200 degrees yeah they put off about 200 degrees a piece so probably can't use those on a real sunny day. Anyway, I love all the light in here right now. Having electricity and this additional lighting in the farmhouse, absolutely amazing. So we need to get a new floor in here so we can get into that room and uh, safely clean it out. I mean, I can't have my mom walking back and forth across this broken floor. So I need to gut it so we can install the new floor. And also another quick update, the old bird farm sign that I auctioned off did sell and we're gonna be able to completely refloor this and uh, still have more money to go to the farm from the proceeds of that sale. So a very special thank you to the buyer of that. All that being said, Let's get to work. So I've got to take a brief intermission from working uh, on lots of the recent videos I've gotten asked about Cat, how Cat is doing. And uh, Cat actually went uh, back home with me. Um, he lives in, in my house uh, now. Uh, I took him to the vet, got him fully vetted, and uh, he had some wounds on him because he was getting beat up by another cat. <clears throat> another cat out here. So because his wounds were pretty bad and he had just been uh, vetted for all of that, I decided to just go ahead and take him back to uh, my house and uh, he's, uh, he's living there with me now. He retired from being a farm cat. Well, not long after he retired from being a farm cat, this one uh, showed back up. And uh, I've, been working, I've been working on taming it too, just like I did uh, with farm cat. And I think it's going well. So this is actually our new farm cat out here on the old bird farm. This is actually the cat that was beating up, um, well, cat, cats, you know, the original farm cat's name. So this is the cat that was beating up cat. And, uh, and she, she's, a, she's a girl. Um, so, you know, my big tough farm cat named Cat was getting beat up by this one. But she's been, she's been already fixed and had all her shots and everything. She's got the clipped ear. So she was a feral in the, uh, trap neuter release program probably because that's that's how they clip their ears but anyway new new farm cat you'll probably see her around outside hunting because clearly you know she looks like she's going to be out hunting the rats on the farm anyway i had to get back to work all right so this is how we're looking in here i've got this first section of floor kind of out and i think i think there's as much trash under the house as there was in here that we cleaned out. Of course, all of that just fell through the floor and the different holes. So once I get the rest of the wood out, we're gonna have to do another cleaning operation to get all of that out of here. But this is the wood that I have gotten out so far from here. It's all, you know, unfortunately, uh, all rain damaged, all these floorboards are eaten up. Thankfully, the main beams are still looking good. We'll take a closer look at those once we get the rest of this out. Uh, but I'm going to take a break and clean this up and then we'll get the second half done.
All right, so here's the current state of things. I've got the floor completely gutted out except for this very last floor joist right here, which I'll be moving that as soon as I clean out the rest of this wood that I've pulled out from here. So we are down to the dirt. And you know, I kinda, kinda feel bad about this floor joist right here. This was like the last good floor joist and I've been using it to jump up and down. So let's, uh, let's take a look at where we're at. All right, got all the floor up. So now we're just standing on dirt and got a big empty space right here. Well, it's not really empty, is it? Got a bunch of this trash and junk here on the floor. <sighs> so you know what we gotta do. I've done it before. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I gotta bag up all this trash, throw it away. Then I gotta sweep the ground, sweep the ground under the house. Then we're gonna have to metal detect it, see what kind of treasures they buried under the house. And then after that, we're gonna be putting in new floor right here. So I'm, I'm really happy to have this finally gutted out. And it's funny because it actually feels better now with no floor here than it did when having the floor here. I don't know, I can't explain it. I guess it's because I don't have to see a fallen, rotten, broken floor. I'm just standing on solid dirt. Uh, but I'm very happy to uh, have this gutted out finally. So tomorrow I'm gonna uh, get that last floor joist out of here. Then hopefully we'll get all the trash out of here and uh, get it swept and metal detected. Um, so uh, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would to do this, but part of that's been because every time I'd do a little section, I had to hop off, load the tractor bucket up and haul all the rotten wood off. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm also gonna have to prep this for the new floor joist by like removing all of this and all of the big old nails. Well, that's a bad example, that's a small nail. But all the, um, there's one, there's a big nail in there. Um, removing all the big nails from there so we can get the new floor joist with the hangers in like we did on the other side. Um, I haven't found anything that I'm too terribly worried about. This main beam through here looks good. That looks real good except for one little spot right there. So. We'll, we'll look at that a little bit closer. Actually, well, there's one of those big nails in there and it ain't coming out. See, a little bit down here is eaten into, but I think the heart of it is still good. Um, we'll, just have to, uh, we'll just have to look at that as we go forward and see if there's anything we need to do here. Also back here, this wood this section of this main beam right here, it was in bad shape. Um, it was kind of eaten away, but I think it's down to pretty much the fat lighter, the hard center of it here. So we are gonna have to look at, you know, some kind of repair here, um, but I'm not too terribly worried about that either. There's nothing like, oh my God, you know, uh, we're not gonna be able to do this. And look at this, if you watch my video, uh, videos on Adventures into History, you'll see me point out the main beams in the old buildings a lot. And I say, oh, well, you know, this is an old place. Look at the hand-hewn main beams on it. And you can see that this one was cut with a circular saw. So this was actually cut on a mill. And you can just really see those circular saw marks in it right now. So that's where we are today on the farm. Um, I've got all of this gutted, of course. Next step, which is gonna be tomorrow, in other words, another video. I'm gonna get all the trash out and uh, we're gonna go from there. Once we have a floor in here, which the floor is coming in soon, this nightmare in front of us will be the next room that we tackle here as far as cleaning out and putting a new floor in it. And then we'll go on to the next room and the next room and the next room and the next room until it's, you know, completely solid. Uh, but I'm happy with what we got done today. I've been really wanting to get in here and get this done. I uh, love having all this light in here and uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, hopefully we'll only ever see this like this once with no floor in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time, you know, out here on the Old Bird Farm.